realized it was simply time to run. And that fire really nipping at that car as it was trying to back out of the fire uh, and to safety. Nobody was hurt there, but this is a critical week here in Southern California. Temperatures are set to rise, expected in the 90s. Wind speeds expected to be gusting anywhere in the 30s, 40s, even 50s, uh, especially in the ridge tops here. And firefighters are bracing themselves for an exhausting week ahead. Matt Gutman, ABC News, San Bernardino, California. Take a look at this. A load of logs pierced through a windshield of an SUV in Georgia. Police say the driver rear-ended that log truck. Firefighters had to cut through nearly 40 logs with chainsaws before they could even start to cut open that car door and rescue the man. Luckily, the driver only suffered minor injuries. Very lucky there. Speaking of miracles, a woman in Texas. She gave birth to a healthy baby girl in a laundry room during a tornado. There was no electricity, so that baby was born by candlelight. A clean car and a good scare. That's what customers can expect at a car wash in Brunswick, Ohio. The owners have added Halloween-themed elements to the car wash. That means if you're afraid of clowns, you may want to keep your eyes closed. The frightening wash costs drivers about $20. Wow. That's pretty pretty uh, genius there, I guess you could say. I never realized how many folks are terrified of clowns, yet, yeah. I mean, you see kids and clowns, you think of them together, but there's some, some scary ones Thanks out there. Thanks to Stephen King, <sighs> we're all terrified. Absolutely. All right, so uh, here we go into a very exciting, here we are Tuesday, next several days around the DMV. Here's our live camera from Upper Northwest looking toward National Cathedral and Sidwell Friends toward Roslyn looking good. Fall color change, it's starting, although not terribly vibrant, at least not downtown yet. Here's our time lapse or sky lap seven for you over toward Bay Bridge. We had uh, visibility issues as we move through the morning hours and now rain starting to move on in and that means wet roadways and could be a slow commute if you're trying to get from point A to point B. 61 degrees Reagan National this hour, middle 50s just off toward the west of us. Stormwatch 7 satellite and radar, even though we have a few showers around the metro, moderate rains off toward the west of us, Garrett, Allegheny counties moving off toward the north and east. Expand the view out just a bit. This is all part of a cold front that's going to move across the area over the next seven or eight hours and should be out of here by about eight o'clock tonight. And that's when our skies will begin to partially clear. And that's when temperatures are going to begin to fall. Here are the clouds with us right now. Do you want to show you our future cast that just updated for us? 2 p.m. looking at moderate rains off toward the west of us. By four o'clock could be looking at a line of heavier rain stretching from Fredericton to western Loudoun County and then over toward Fauquier and then moving across the metro area five six o'clock and by seven o'clock gates open at Nats Park with just a few limited showers and then things will dry out by about nine o'clock tonight at least according to this model. Here's our forecast going out to lunch grab an umbrella may need it on and off temperatures will be in the lower to middle 60s could see 64 65 degrees all depending on when the rain arrives for the metro area. Here's 270 north and southbound for you evening rush hour commute plan on a little bit of a slowdown with temperatures that are in the 60s because of the wet weather that's why things are likely to slow down a little bit World Series watch parties, Nats Park, temperatures will be in the 60s. We'll dry things out later on tonight. Tomorrow, a dry start to your Wednesday. Middle 40s off toward the west of us, lower 50s downtown. Hourly forecast for tomorrow, grab the sunglasses. You're going to need it. Temperatures will be around 65 degrees. And then home games as we move into Friday and Saturday. Temperatures middle to upper 50s. Keep in mind these games start a little bit after 8 o'clock. Rain chances for the day on Saturday and on Sunday. If game five is needed, it's a home game, but temperatures are in the upper 50s. Don't forget Marine Corps Marathon. Also Sunday morning, be sure to check traffic patterns if you're trying to get around Roslyn or the district uh, Saturday, Sunday morning with temperatures that are going to be in the 40s to start around 60 for a daytime high. Seven-day outlook from Stormwatch 7 does show temperatures in the 60s tomorrow and on Thursday looking good, at least dry for game three. Questionable in terms of wet weather, scattered showers Saturday and Sunday, but lingering showers early next week. We're back after this. Good morning, Washington's bus stop forecast. Weekdays only on ABC7. If we can figure out why people commit crimes, why they engage in risky activity, we can minimize crime. 
My hope is that I can use my experience in corrections to get my students to rethink all these problems. Learning should be fun. There's no reason that it should be so dry and mundane. So I try to make it different. I'm not trying to just get you a career. I want you to succeed in this career and become the agents of change that we desperately need. American Military University. Learn from the leader. I'm Ladia, and there's more to me than HIV. There's my career, my calls, and creating my dream home. I'm a work in progress. So much goes into who I am. HIV medicine is one part of it. Prescription Devado is for adults who are starting HIV-1 treatment and who aren't resistant to either of the medicines dolutegravir or lamivudine. Devado has two medicines in one pill to help you reach and then stay undetectable. So your HIV can be controlled with fewer medicines while taking Devado. You can take Devado any time of day, with food or without. Don't take Devado.